Hey, $17,300 on the shift. Let's keep pushing it. Uh, I mean... You will crack 20 I, grand. I, I and this guy, I'd like to make a desert buck before Dawn Guard, but that's gonna, that's a hard push. Yeah. It's a lot of money. It's that's, like five grand. That's but, five, fifty five hundred dollars But, uh, yeah. you know, aim high, fail fail spectacularly. Mm -hmm. That's what I always say. That's that's how improv works. <laughs> <laughs> like that guy who's building the rocket to uh, demonstrate the Earth is flat. Oh, <laughs> excellent. <laughs> Good job, buddy. I look forward uh, to yeah, your... I'm, I look forward to ignition. I saw the greatest comment on that, it. which was being like, I hope this guy actually proves it. I mean, like, I don't want, I want him, him to, to die. burst through the, the illusion that <laughs> apparently we've all been laboring under. Yeah. Free, free us all instead of dying, which he is absolutely going to, <laughs> going to do. <laughs> I, but but the, the final moment is him going, whoops. Oh. <laughs> yeah, his last word is going to be, huh. <laughs> I've, I've just always been really curious. <laughs> for, for, for flat earth, for flat earthers who think like you know it's a big conspiracy. Yeah. What is the end game of the global conspiracy? Like, like yeah, what what is gained conspiracy. by fooling <laughs> the population into thinking the world is spherical? Like, oh, yeah. Well, there's like a whole big thing to it yeah, where people it's... believe that like the money going into research that kind of stuff oh. is being like used for other things and all that yeah, and it's, like it's all wasted money all yeah. that money spent on satellites for the global positioning system that yeah. you definitely need in order to post all this garbage on the internet yeah, yeah. yeah. so you can so yeah. you can location and been geotag spending, your stupid starbucks picture that you got the other day. money into this yeah. round earth thing for <laughs> centuries now yeah it, this is the longest of cons <laughs> yeah. it's it's clearly all to, for the big for the big globe producing company, yeah. for all the schools. Yes, you're in the pocket of big. You're in the pocket of Rand McNally. Is it? Is it? Um, uh, has anyone actually? The, wow. Uh, the pictures. <laughs> has anyone actually done? There is a way to circumnavigate uh, the Earth, um, where you start and end in the same country, and that, and by sailing in an exact way in a straight line. There is oh. a way to do it. It's a it's the longest great circle in the world, um, and without having to deviate on course at all, you can sail completely around the world. You start in Victoria, hmm. no, okay. Okay. and you go all the way around the world. And apparently, you will end up as long as it's as long as it's summer in all the places you are going, so you don't have to deal with ice. You will end up in uh, in Newfoundland, I believe, is where you land. Hmm. Oh. Something like that. Yeah. It's a, it's an amazing thing because it's like oh yeah sail in a straight line it's like okay but it's like can you actually do that there's other land masses in the way and there's a whole contingent of, of people who like look for different routes and the one the longest one they found I think recently unless it's been beaten by now you sail from Victoria you end up in Newfoundland that sounds and, great Ocean Bus 2018 right yeah <laughs> would you sail northwest is that the Northwest Passage do we want to find it <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes! I, I think you I think you sail southwest uh, there it is. mostly yeah oh. there it is. Yeah. Oh. It's fascinating because it's like if you you had you have to go right through the Pacific for quite some distance and then pass like you have to thread the needle through uh, a couple of smaller islands that are right. in, in the Pacific, and then there's that pass between uh, New Zealand and Australia, and if you keep sailing in that straight line, you you do this weird thing of going under the you know the the horn and then back up through the entire Atlantic and it's like I don't know if anyone's actually done that yet or not, but it looks super cool. Mm. That, that noise was healthy. Next yeah. year in the yeah. Pacific. Hey, it feels much better now knowing that the other one is possible. Like when it resolves. Oh yeah. <laughs>